Uh, so can I ask you what your name is, please? Yeah, my name is Angela Marston. And uh, why are you here today? I'm here. This is the first protest in my entire life because I own a bar that had a little kitchen, Pineapple Hill. It's been there in the valley. It's been there since 1978. I had 15, 13 to 15 employees. They shut us down. I kept changing, doing everything they wanted. I did the plexiglass. I did temperature checks. They reopened us, things started to pick up, they shut us down again. I, I, I went through my PPP in two months. I have a disaster loan that's almost gone. I spent $100,000 doing the changes that they wanted me to do. I moved outdoors into the parking lot, did the patio, did seven feet between my tables, everything they asked for. And she, her, her and the they are supervisors down shut down 30,000 30, restaurants in LA County. All of us had to make those changes. All of us had to do that. And they shut us down. Four to one fucking vote. They didn't shut Pasadena down. They're, they're telling San Diego they're not gonna enforce it. I haven't gotten any grants from LA. I haven't gotten any help. Nothing. My staff are terrified. They're bawling. It's right before the holidays. And I finally have had enough. I can't do it anymore. Somebody's got to do something and say something. I have five other friends that own bars without food that haven't even been able to open. They've got no PPP, no help. They're going through their life savings. Their unemployment's running out. They asked to work for me. I hired three new employees and they shut us down. Uh, what, what, what? The Pineapple Hill Grill and Saloon in Sherman Oaks. We're in the San Fernando Valley, and there are lots of us in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, what, what would your message be to, to Dr. Barbara uh, with giving her news? My, mes my message would say, Barbara, you gave us things to do to keep people safe. You were quoted in the LA Times saying that you didn't have any data to, to know if COVID was spread between outdoor dining or not. Those of us who have done everything you requested, temperature checks, tables right, we should stay open. You guys need to enforce the people that were breaking the rules, close them and keep us open. Pasadena had a heart, San Diego had a heart, I have staff members with children. I have a kitchen that's been there since 1978 and they don't even know what they're going to do. So my message is reverse it and open up, at least open up the people that are doing it right and, and, and protecting the customers because we deserve to be open. I went through a PPP loan two months. All it lasted. $150,000 of a loan almost gone. The first month I saw a profit was October and you shut us down in November. You live in a house, my people live in apartments with kids, and they don't even know how they're going to eat. So have a fucking heart. That's my Amen. message. Uh, so can I have your name, please? Brittany. Brittany. And uh, so why are you out here today? Uh, I, I need to work. We all need to work. They can't just shut us down. We've done everything they've asked. You know, I mean, I even had coronavirus, and I'm here. I'm alive. You know, we know who it affects. We try to be courteous to everybody. And I mean, we need to work. I need to support my family. And so, were, were you working at a, at a restaurant that had it shut down because of the new restrictions? They shut us down again. Yeah. And so, how do you feel about that? Scared. I mean, it's, I have no income. Absolutely no. Mm -hmm. and, and unemployment is like $200 a week. And that's going to be running out in, I think, like a month. Just to make sense. So, uh, and that's $200. How are we going to support our family at $200? The problem is that we don't and what would kids get no, no Christmas, no nothing. We got to try to eat. Even if you get a fine. And uh, what would your message be to Dr. Uh, Dr. Ferrer? I mean, we've done everything right, and they know that there's no food at restaurants, outdoors, with masks and shields and six feet apart, following all the directions that we were asked to follow. There's no food at restaurants.